Hello and welcome to the next part of Game of Thrones. This is episode 2 of series 2, which is actually 6 parts long, our 6 series of games. And um, so far I've been really enjoying this series, it's been a completely different pace of game for me from the usual Armaholic content for Armaholic that I create, and also the Armour 3 videos. I've been trying to do a few different simulation games and other things and uh, I've been a big fan of the Game of Thrones series. As I mentioned in my other videos I'm only up to series 3. Plenty of totty, violence, intrigue and for me it really does feel like an, a series that's set in rural ancient old England even though it's a fantasy film set in different locations around the world. When it comes to the to the castles and the fighting and everything else, it just feels brilliant. Welcome to part two of series two of Game of Thrones for the PC. My god, he's alive! <laughs> On the King's Road, is they going to King's Landing? <laughs> his father. Father. Oh. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again? I, I, I Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant Sir dressed Ryland. up like a lord. I, uh, a stable boy I was, in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duncan and you have the fucking stones to try it again? No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead? They're Forrester! Look at the colours! Please! Now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! You come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! That was a sheep fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? I could use some help. Patrick? Roderick, by oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! So he's lost his dad and his brothers. Maggot time. What exactly are they cutting off? Is he going to lose a limb? Oh, looks like he's losing his leg. Or his bollocks. <laughs> My lord, you should not be awake. <laughs> the milk of a puppy. Drink. Calm now. 
That's it. <gasps> Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Mother, don't. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Can't leave, you've got no legs. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. oh God, put me under again. Give me some more poppy juice. Talia starts playing that bloody flute. I tell you, I'll put it where it's sun don't shine. Thought it was a brother that played the lute, innit? Where's your brother? How bad is it? Miss Dodge, it's still there. Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I'm a forester. I'll survive. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> you can, Talia. I know you can. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. You need to let me worry about that. We're all worried. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready. I'm not ready, but I'll be I there. To go. Get me a wheelchair. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Do with some crutches. They must have had wooden crutches or supports back then. Roderick! Fine. Can't somebody carry me? Oh, 
Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse car. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. She's right. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. No. I have to do this on my own. All right. Boy, we can do it. You're really doing it. Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though mm. I think you'll find that much has changed. Mm. Now, what happens to the, the other Ethan's rule now that he's dead? Does that mean. Mm. Oh, we're at the wall. Black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall, always Recruit wanted to, to see it, gate. but not like this. John Snow up there. I recognise him from a million miles away. Wow, they've right, done well on that. It? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. You fight like a girl, a woggling girl, maybe. This is not John Snow. I stand corrected. It looked like him from the distance. <clears throat> you rec 
recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. That's none of your business. You're a cattle black boy. Every last wart on your freezing cold ass is my business now. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. I know exactly who you are, Garrett Tuttle. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. And yes, it is my business, all of it. The sooner you learn that, the better. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. So, once you're in, you don't get out. Oh, well, Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Yeah, if you haven't seen the TV series, then um, you won't know about the Wall and the Black Watch. Basically, once you're in, you're in. It's usually for criminals and uh, other undesirables. They basically disappear. You have no contact with any of the outside world. Last we heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. <laughs> There's fucking worms in it. The Lord White here is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The White Hill soldiers than always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Lord Whitehill will bring down the hammer. And the axe. Aye, the axe. Better fucking happen soon. And that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a like and a thumbs Come on, up. Come Roderick. If you want to see the next part. Thanks for watching Game of Thrones. Is that him?